Okay, okay, okay. What you saying produces Ian on the track back on your box. Today's video is going to be the first of two parts on how to make 808 patterns for your drill beats on Beatmaker 3 on the iPad. This is your first time on the channel, you don't know what's going on. I'm an iOS based music producer based in the UK. And in this channel, I'll give you tips, tricks and how to's on how to produce on Beatmaker 3 on your iPad. But now, let's get into it. Right, so I've got Beatmaker open and I'll start out by pointing out that I've got a new template set up. So I've got a template set up that puts all of my instruments into their specific banks and this just helps me with my workflow and helps me with my mixing down later on down the process. But let's find a loop for this beat. We're going to go with a simple, dark, gritty drill beat. I've got the Dirty Money Loop Pack open up here. It's just got loads of piano loops made by these guys. Let's go through these and see which one sounds good. I think I like this one by Hacks. Yeah. Right, so I've got it loaded up on the sampler. And as always, guys, any new loops that we put on the sampler, we want to go to the BPM and set the BPM of the sample itself. That's usually provided in the loop pack. But if not, we can always do an auto detect and Beatmaker 3 will work out the tempo of the sample that you've loaded. BPM set, we'll set our live stretch to high quality. And then we're going to set the tempo of the project. Let's set it to about, I said 143 to loop. Let's set it to 143. Right, so we've got the main middle set. Let's make ourselves a simple simple but catchy counter melody. Right, so I think I'm going to look for some vocal chops to add to this. Got the counter melody, got the melody, but I just want to beef it up a bit more before I drums in. So let's find some loops. Job. Let's let's just record this in. So we got the melody in, took a while, but we got something solid in. It's nice and simple, sounded gritty. Let's get the drums in. Starting out with the hi-hats. And for the hi-hats on Beatmaker 3, you can dump MIDI exports onto your pattern as well. So I'm just going to create a new pattern there. Open up, go to my menu. If I go to the files menu and out to MIDI exports, I've got myself a MIDI pattern here that I've made before. And that should should <laughs> should there you go it's copied in Thank you. 
let's get some snares in then. Just find a nice simple snare to chuck in, in this. <laughs> and the countless snares and we've got the snares in what i like to do next when i'm making my beat is add the 808 first before i throw in the kicks just so i know where i'm going to put the kicks in to pattern it all up so let's go into 808s now the juicy bit of the video i'm gonna go into my 808s bank so the method i'm going to use today for 808s is the simple drag and drop of a wave file onto the sampler on beatmaker 3 and play it like that so let's find ourselves an 808 that's going to go with this beat Right, so we've got our 808 loaded up on the sampler. Let me just go over to the pad section here and show you all the notes available for the 808. When again, we initiate the keys button. And once you found the root note for the 808 in the pads and it matches with the key of the project, we can hit this octave toggle to take it to semitone and let's take it down to our root note. Yeah. And we can go one step further, hit the scales panel here, and we can activate a specific scale that we want to play along. So it takes all the out scale notes from our pads. So now we've got all the notes in the A sharp minor scale. So let's play. Right, so we've played around with the 808 in Beatmaker 3 interface. I want to take it over to my Launchpad X now. If I hit the note button at the top here, that takes me to my scale strips. So this is the minor scale at all the octaves available for the key of... Right, it's a key already. So let's play it out on the Launchpad X and then let's get something recorded in. So the 808 pattern's all set. What you can now do is go back into the 808 and adjust the sound, make it sound more like what we're trying to get. So with this, we've got some slides in there. So what we want to do is go to the polyphony button here, tap it. When you see legato, just tap the off and that switches it to legato. So that means that every note is going to be one single note being played and sliding in and out of notes. That's set now. So let's play the pattern with the glide time set to the default of 100 milliseconds, and then we can determine if we need to if we need to change that. So you can hear the slide in there. It's it's quite slow. So let's take down the glide time. Uh, it's got 91 there. Let's take it down to 63. Let's see how that sounds. Right, so that sounded pretty good there. Um, of course, you can always go to the glide time, click it, double tap it, and you can adjust it just by holding and dragging it along. I'm going to keep it back at that 62 or thereabouts. That seems to work for me, so leave it at that. And I will, there are some more advanced controls you can you can use for controlling the glide time. You can use velocity to modulate the slides so they can vary from slow to fast modulations if you've got that in within your project and you don't want to have to keep automating the glide time. But I'll show that in a more advanced video when I know that people are ready for that. But anyways, yeah, that's the 808 slides. Um, let's get the kicks in. Uh, 
So the 808 and the kicks are in. Let's get some perks in now, get some transitions in. There you go guys, beats wrapped up. I've gone ahead and arranged it now, so stick around, I'm gonna play that at the end. I added a couple of additional 808 patterns just to give some variation of the beat. And um, yeah, hopefully you got something from this. If you like what you saw, you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, drop a comment, let me know what you thought, let me know what you wanna see going forward. And as always guys, keep cooking.